Guys, uh, this is going to be a little bit of fun. I hope my first EDC video, Everyday Carry, I love EDC stuff. So I decided to uh, do a video. I'm here sitting on the floor in the lounge and uh, my stuff's all over the couch. So <laughs> it's going to be a pretty rough uh, rough EDC video. If you see me looking off camera, I'm recording uh, on my Samsung S8 and I'm just using it uh, on the front facing camera. So um, I can sort of see that I'm in frame in that. Please do bear with me. Um, I'm, you know, we're quite new at making these videos. All right, cheers, just some quick coffee as well. Because as you know, coffee is life. Okay, so pretty much, um, I, for those of you who don't know, I have a gym, a gym is called Emmet, and we do on-site training um, at our premises, which is in Fairmount, Johannesburg, but I will also, go to clients so either we we're training professional athletes um, at their gyms in their stadiums we're training school kids at the schools i'm doing workshops at uh, other gyms or at uh, schools or corporate clients for self-defense and so on and i'm also then going out to my corporate clients where we do on-site training for them so i'm on the road pretty much from 5 a.m to around about 8 30 at night i'm usually back at my gym in the evening for evening sessions from about half past seven and uh, i don't really get time to run back to an office so i've had to structure my life that everything i need to run my business is with me so whether it's writing blogs hopefully doing more uh, video blogs invoicing clients um, writing training programs you know, trying to get in a few more chapters into the books that I'm busy writing um, or basically just catching up on social media, recording stuff for social media. I need everything with me, but also I need it to be as light as possible. So pretty much for the last decade, uh, nearly a decade, we've been going for just over um, seven years. I need to basically start trimming down what I'm carrying because too much um, it gets heavy and I'm a nerd and I love EDC stuff and I would I, you know just start piling flipping everything um, into into my bag and basically uh, believing that whole you know um, you know two is two is one one is none stuff and I've been trying to find a balance between trimming it down to be effective um, and it's just give me the essentials and actually being enough if there is a problem you know if I'm running out of battery power or um, if something breaks so I'm either doing workshops also in Johannesburg I do workshops around the country Natal Cape Town and we've now started doing workshops internationally so this setup that I'm going to show you now is pretty much what um, you uh, will see me carry anywhere in the world really maybe change one or two things i might add a video camera i've got a really cool um canon that i take with me as well uh, most of my recording i'm actually doing on mobile phones but i do have this little epic nikon which is uh, i love it my aw100 waterproof i've had it for about four years and uh, it's a great little camera the audio on this thing is amazing so it actually serves, ser serves my purposes and as you can see it's quite tiny all right so let's get started first off i um, going to go into my laptop uh, laptop i've got a little macbook uh, 16 inch air i carry this in a, a sleeve i can't even pronounce that everick okay so uh, just to because my bag is quite full just to uh, protect it from getting squashed where you don't end up with keyboard marks on the screen uh, that I've, I've had now it's a 2016 model I bought it on sale really really good price it was like 40% off at uh, incredible connection uh, my trusty iPad in my Griffin I think it's protector or defender this case I've dropped this thing out of my truck um, it's bounced it's landed uh, it's it's the the old one with the the 30 pin and um, that it, it's no longer supported with uh, the software updates so I will be upgrading to a newer version but this thing still works fine eight hours of battery life and it's bulletproof so this is literally what I will carry around with me all the time I've used it out in the rain this Griffin case is flipping phenomenal um, it can take a drop from 10 feet Apparently, and you can use it in rain and mist. I wouldn't drop it into water because it's not watertight, but really great, uh, really great case. 
for the iPad. Right, next, my Rudy Project sunglasses. This is just a spare pair with a slightly darker lens. If you can see inside the glasses, here is my uh, prescription and it's just really to have a spare pair. I've actually, during courses and that, I've been punched in the face um, with, with, this with these glasses accidentally. These are the supposedly bulletproof uh, Rudy project that they think they called the Impact, 2, Impact X2 Black. They are phenomenal lenses, really, really strong, really light, very, very comfortable. And as you can see, they're a little bit dark, they're photochromatic, so I don't have to keep swapping glasses um, on and off all the time. Then next up, let's go into clothing. I just carry this as a very light, so it's just Mr. Price, a windbreaker. It gives me a little bit of water, uh, waterproofing if I'm out and I don't have a jacket with me and it gets a little bit cold. This is in the bag. It takes up no space. Um, glasses, cleaning cloth, and then also for cleaning the camera, I do tend to get a little bit sweaty and just basically will just clean my lenses. Um, and then I also have a full glasses cleaning kit with me which is spray a couple of extra cloths when these get the other ones get dirty and uh, screwdrivers if stuff comes loose really cool um, I have a towel also as you can see I love Mr. Price I think great quality products good value this is a one meter by one meter a quick dry towel um, so many times I've been stuck even just like in a washroom shirt off wash under my armpits um, and dry off with this quickly or wash my face and dry off or also I've been caught um, at an airport lounge where the sh there was a shower but there were no towels so you never know when you actually need a spare towel and always comes in handy you know you can use it for blood or a tourniquet or something like that as well uh, worst case scenario you can make a pretty big uh, triangle bandage out of this then I have my just a bandana and uh, it's, I think it's a smog, a smog. So just basically in case there's sort of dust in the air. Sometimes here on the high felt we get dust storms, particularly at the beginning of summer and it can get quite unpleasant. And um, just over the face, also fire if there's a problem. This is really just sort of emergency. Um, this as well, you can you know, use it for cleaning up stains, blood, um, you know, as a, a very basic compression bandage. I have a full first aid kit that I carry with me in the truck and a smaller first aid kit that goes onto my backpack. Um, I also carry a pair of gloves. I do do quite a lot of heavy lifting. These are just basic mechanic gloves, light. And I suppose in, in a pinch they would give some warmth, but um, it's really just in case I've got to lift mainly wood and heavy stuff, there, there's a risk of splinters just to carry with me. Right, so then let's talk about uh, electronics. We've spoken about the laptop, the iPad, basic, um, charger for the the notebook or the macbook uh, wi-fi router i do use my s8 as a hotspot but um, it does kill the battery so i've got this just as a backup the um the data package that came with this i got it with the ipad and i've just kept it uh, going so it's a five gig a month package never really run out of data um, i have all the connecting cables charging cables that I need to charge up all of my devices and uh, two extra blocks just for charging. I have um, ordered uh, a multi-port USB charger so I'm quite excited to see it. I think it's a six or a four port. Okay, this next very, very cool. This is one of, this was a present to myself last uh, earlier this year. And uh, basically what it is is it's a keyboard with a touchpad. How cool is that? Um, I think it's called the X Folding Touch Pro. You can see that. And I um, bought this at the Samsung store in Umschlange. And it's really cool. It works really well with the S8. Um, if I don't want to have to take out the notebook and I just want to do some social media stuff, particularly on Instagram, um, can't really do the Instagram posting on my laptop. So if I'm writing a slightly longer post, like a, a mini blog on Instagram, then I'll use this. And it, it's phenomenal. I mean, it works well with Excel, with everything. This, with the S8 and then yeah, with the docking station to a bigger screen, you can basically run the S8 as a, as a laptop. It's very, very cool. Okay, so now second camera. I also use, I have a, an old um, iPhone 6 and an iPhone 5. The 5S that I use as secondary cameras, I find the camera quality really good um, just for different positions. Obviously, you'll see this is all 
one camera position. I'll turn like that, but uh, we're, we're, bear with me, we're, we're growing um, the product. Right, so this Nikon waterproof to 10 feet, uh, or one, so yeah, shot proof to 1.5 meters. Uh, it's really cool, full HD. Um, I don't, it's not 14K, uh, but good quality audio, really good quality video, simple to use, small and light, gives me decent battery life, and it's also got, uh, got geotagging, which is pretty cool. Um, that I just carry in uh, into Pro case, fits in beautifully, just to keep the camera from getting scratched. What I found, the, the simplest thing is it's a pain for me to transfer data from my phone through to um, my iPad. So I just use um, uh, Google Photos, but um, I also take this just a very old, this thing was really cheap, just a multi-port, put in an SD card um, and then dump the data straight to the, the MacBook. Um, I also have little connectors where I used to be able to drop it onto my iPad and do my editing on there. Mini tripod, um, I have another one of these that the camera's on or the, the phone is on with a mount. Nice little device, small. This can probably support um, a decent size SLR with a, a 70 to 210 lens. Um, so I'm old, so I don't even know if they still make those. Uh, right, then uh, normal, uh, just spare memory. Um, another backup SD card for the can the Nikon uh, these are pretty cool uh, and then obviously also batteries uh, you can never ever have enough spare batteries um, I've got these and a couple others actually charging now spare carabiners um, these things are awesome because if I want to clip my cap onto my backpack um, if I want to clip a jacket on or just carry a parcel clip it onto the side these come in really really handy they, they're not heavy at all they don't take up any weight all right, uh, hygiene. <laughs> so there you go, wet wipes. This is probably the item I'm asked most for. Um, if I have a wet wipe and most used, uh, this is just a mini pack, which is really cool. And then I also carry a couple of these with me. These are just uh, refresher towels that you get. I, th I think these are from the Wimpy actually. Um, really cool. Uh, Medipack, so this is alcohol wipes, uh, Band-Aid and Burn shield uh, just in case so just that's really for minor cuts and bruises a really small very basic first aid kit then i have my trusted and treasured this thing has been with me to germany it's been with me to spain my physique notebook um, i just kept take my notes in this and it's really cool um, i love it it was a gift from physique and it's just easy uh, easy to carry um, with that i've got a couple of pens that i carry with me and um, this is my little Uzi tactical pen. It's a really great, uh, firstly it writes really well and um, can be used as a defensive weapon. So in areas where you can't, uh, you can't carry a knife with you, um, you know, this comes in handy because it's a pen. There, okay, always have a Sharpie uh, in case I need to write a note or write on something or mark something, um, I've got my Sharpie. I have two torches, so this is my LED lenser. This thing is freaking ridiculous. Um, you can see that I think it's uh, 300 lumens. Yeah, yeah uh, probably close on 300, maybe 220. No, 300, um, really cool. Works off a CR123 battery. Um, and you, it, they claim that you can use this as a tactical uh, defensive weapon but I mean it, it fits so much in the hand you'd be doing more hand striking maybe just for punching and then this um, I love this is my little Larry and uh, I use this basically also as a torch as an emergency light I use this primarily in the bag um, if I'm looking for something it's got a magnetic uh, connector you can connect it we were out for dinner a couple of weeks ago at a restaurant and there was a power failure. I linked this to the guys in the grill so they could actually make my dinner. Um, they just attached it on and it just works off a couple of AAA batteries that are rechargeable. I carry this little Victoria Knox pen knife. It is a pen knife, but most importantly, what I love about this thing is it's a nail clipper. So I, I don't really pay a lot of attention always to my nails. I do but I forget to cut them sometimes and they grow really quickly and uh, it's just handy to have this thing on me all the time 
and this is just really um, a little tightener you can use it for um, a screwdriver and then also it's got little um, uh, attachments that you can use for tightening up knives and smaller blades and that uh, we have uh, emergency space blanket um, I never really thought about these things uh, this is for two until we've had a couple of freak storms in Johannesburg sorry about that <laughs> I just got a call um, so a space blanket where people were trapped on the highway and I would never want to be caught uh, without an ability to keep warm we've had a couple of instances where the temperatures dropped from like 26 down to 14 and it like in shorts and a t-shirt wasn't pleasant so just as an emergency um, hand sanitizer um, these are the the little connectors for my um, iPad so for USB or to put in a SD card really cool and of course uh, tape measures because this is what I do for a living um, we run a lot of corporate challenges where we weigh and measure people and um, centimeters are the big thing that they're after because when they're training if they're gaining lean muscle and not um, losing fat but gaining lean muscle their weight on the scale is not changing can, they can get a little bit disheartened so uh, the tape measure shows them the centimeters going down uh, lighter because you know fire is life you never want to be out uh, without it whether i also carry a little bit of extra cordage um, when i just need to melt stuff and uh, or you know someone needs a light not that i'm a fan of smoking it's not going in. right so i think um okay i don't know if i've covered that this is my volcano uh, power bank it's got uh, two outputs up to 2.1 amps this thing is flipping phenomenal it sat for about six seven months without being used and it didn't lose any of the charge you just give it a shake and uh, it'll give you if you could pick that up there a hundred percent charge so very very cool and then this is my little uh, secure torch it's got a seat belt cutter it's got a glass breaker i suppose you could also use it as a weapon um, and it's a 120 lumen torch really cool um, but what's also nice about it waterproof and uh, the reason i carry it with me primarily is it is actually a spare usb backup this is a 10,000 milliamp hour um, battery backup so i've got two power banks with me and uh, even with this is it's got a little torch the volcano has got a torch on it as well so guys um, I think that's pretty much it I hope uh, you enjoyed the video we're going to start putting out um, a lot more by we I mean me so please do um, as obviously the channel's new and I would really really appreciate your feedback um, or any comments that you can you would have you can just leave them below and um, you know, thank you if you liked uh, like the video please give it a thumbs up like it and uh, share it it would be amazing and uh, subscribe subscribe to the channel uh, the channel is pretty much going to cover sort of my life and stuff like this uh, training videos um, self-defense all of these type of things and then also my thoughts um, as a recovering addict in my life experiences and stuff that I've been through different challenges. So uh, in terms of being a little bit more uh, motivational and self-help stuff. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate that. And uh, we'll see you at the next video. That was so much fun. That was flipping awesome. I enjoyed that. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. Thank you. Oos. Hey, I nearly forgot the bag. Okay. So this is my backpack, uh, Targus, please don't ask me the model number, um, I'll link it in the description down below, very, very cool bag. Just wanted to say something about actually Targus and the brand. Um, this bag I've had for probably over 10 years, I mean still back when, before I opened the gym, I spent 15 years um, basically selling insurance we call ourselves financial advisors but in reality we're insurance salesmen so this bag I had carried my laptops my notes um, it's really it's starting to look a little bit frayed uh, if you can see that it's coming apart um, here you know it's got basic uh, holes uh, in the stitching and uh, it, it's really it's aging but 
the main thing that I actually wanted to show you, th this bag has been with me for 10 years. It's been used a lot. It's carried a lot of stuff around. We I mean, like the zips are coming out and stuff. But, um, oh, look at that. There we go. And uh, th the main thing, though, which is ridiculous with this bag is, although structurally there are one or two little things that are coming loose, mainly aesthetically, um, nothing too serious, check at the, the straps. Like, there is nothing. There is no separation. There is no fraying. And... Um, I mean, that's, this is where all the load is. This is where all the work is, is done. And I've walked kilometers and kilometers and kilometers with this thing on my back with really heavy stuff in it. It's got awesome, awesome padding. Uh, it's really nice uh, back support here. Um, good padding. Um, I don't get too sweaty. It breathes really nicely. The other thing that I like about it is it's got a little zip underneath here for a rain shield which is really cool. One thing I'm learning, by the way, guys, is that uh, I'm, I shouldn't be wearing my black Emmet t-shirts when I do these videos because it doesn't really show up that well. And then these little clips here for clipping a jacket um, or something under. And what's really nice is that it actually clips, the, if you clip a jacket or a raincoat or a jersey onto the front, it sits on the front, not on the base, so it gets dirty. All right, so that's the bag, um, very, very cool. Uh, you know your your normal admin pouch here for pens. You've got uh, it's not really a bag review, is it? So <laughs> you've got your mesh. You've got uh, your pockets for charges and that big, nice deep, uh, nice deep front pocket. Then you have your pocket for um, paperwork. Admin. I keep my iPad in here, and then in here in this really soft padded shell is uh, is where the laptop goes. This bag actually fell about 10 feet. Um, it had my old Lenovo T uh, or R400 in it. That really old laptop, loved that laptop. It's actually still working. And you can see the hole, it fell um, off the back of a toilet door like a genius. I clipped it up on this handle and the clip actually broke um, in the bathroom and this thing fell 10 feet straight down. And uh, the laptop, Took a lot of damage, but the laptop's actually fine. I mean, those old Lenovo's are bulletproof, but this really protected it a lot. So that's the bag as well. Thank you, guys. Awesome.